In this tutorial, we're going to look at how bridges are put into an InfoWorks ICM model. Bridges are one of a number of structures that can exist within a channel. The model in front of us, we can see a re relatively simple representation of a channel and two neighboring catchments. The bridges are the objects shown in the brown color as we work our way along the length of the main channel. Let's zoom in and look at the bridge at the bottom of this particular catchment. Bridges are represented as structures in their own right and are formed by five component parts. Those component parts are represented by the section at the end of the incoming reach, so the contraction into the bridge, the section as we pass out and under the bridge and expand back into the next reach, so an expansion reach and then component parts for the bridge itself. So the section at the face of the bridge, the section at the downstream face of the bridge, and a section representing the deck running over the top of the bridge. These individual parts can be picked up and looked at in their own right. So for example, if we looked at the cross section at the face of the bridge, we can identify that particular structure, and then from the grid strip, on the left hand side, look at the actual section data for the front face of the bridge. We can do a very similar thing for the section data on the back face of the bridge, the downstream face of the bridge. And again, use the preview to show the shape. Now, all those structures, the contraction reach, the front and back face of the bridge and the expansion reach are all held as um, objects in their own right and need to be put together in a very similar way that we construct a river reach. And once they have all been combined using the tools in InfoWorks ICM to combine those objects, we end up with what's called a bridge object. And the bridge object here confirms all of the data that's been put in for the bridge itself in terms of the length of the bridge, the various data about the contraction reach and the expansion reach, and in this particular case, the all important data regarding the actual sections at the front and back face of the bridge. And we can look at that data in its composite form by, again, looking at the shape that we saw before for the bridge, but now also showing us the shape of the opening of the bridge and the uh, section representing the deck of the bridge as well. And all of those objects are put into place. The final object that needs to be referenced is the opening for the bridge. And the opening of the bridge is again shown as a line actually in InfoWorks ICM. So we can see the opening going through the bridge that we have here. And if we actually select that opening and look at the data for it, we will see that in this particular case, it's a rectangular opening, which we saw from the visual representation with a width and a height definition. You don't have to use built-in shapes. The rectangular shape is one of the, a number of built-in shapes that InfoWorks ICM provides, but if necessary, you can build your own shape. And whatever shape you use, if you use your own shape, it's simply a pair of left and right data items to represent the offsets. And then your opening will be shown in full 3D in this window here. In our example, we're using a built-in shape. and As we can see, that's a rectangle. Once the data has all been put together for your bridge, it's always a good idea to let the software construct all the component parts in a 3D view for you. So with the bridge in main focus, use the 3D option from the toolbar at the top of InfoWorks ICM. This will open a brand new window in the GeoView, which will contain all the component parts of the bridge. Let's just move it into the focus. We start by looking down on top of the bridge, but if we use the tools available to move around the uh, view that we have, we can now see our bridge coming into view. So here we have the opening that we saw. We can see the deck of the bridge running over. And if we turn right around, we can look at the back face of the bridge as well. As we turn through that angle, you'll have seen the purple representation here. The purple representation is our opening, our actual opening as defined in the original 1D data. We can zoom in and out of our bridge. We can almost fly underneath the bridge, but we can use this 3D view to inspect all of the individual items of data to make sure that their construction does in fact tie up. And we do have good correlation between the front and back faces of the bridge, the deck of the bridge, and the opening of the model. 
and that process is repeated for all of the structures in your model until eventually you have definitions for all of your bridges and all of your culverts. That completes this particular tutorial looking at the bridges in InfoWorks ICM.